Power Boat Television, North America's premier boating show. Time for My Boat. Over the years, I've noticed quite a few boaters that really take winterizing their outboards for granted. They pretty much just disconnect the fuel line, run them dry, let the water drain out, and either leave them stored on the back of the boat or put them in their basement. Well, that might have been fine for your dad's old 9.9 two-stroke, but for a modern four-stroke EFI, they need a little bit more attention. So this week on My Boat, we'll take you through the steps of storing your outboard motor. If your boat has an internal tank, ensure that it is full to prevent moisture buildup and treat the fuel with a storage stabilizer that also has an additive to ensure that the ethanol fuel will not break down or phase separate. To get started, the engine must be warmed and when you're doing this, make sure there is a good flow of water. Never start the motor dry for even a second or you will damage the impeller. After removing the cowl, first task was to drain the old oil. For this you can use an oil extractor, but I elected to drain the oil by first pulling the dipstick to vent the crankcase, then removing the drain plug on the left side of the leg casing and using a flexible funnel and oil pan to catch the oil. With the oil drained, the next step is to remove the oil filter. First stuff a rag beneath the filter to catch the oil, then using the correct size filter wrench or an adjustable strap wrench, remove the filter. Before installing the new filter, make sure you coat the filter's O-ring seal with oil so it seals properly. Carefully screw the new filter in place and tighten it by hand to seat the O-ring. Then firmly seat the oil filter with the wrench without over-tightening. Finally, reinstall the drain plug. The oil fill cap is conveniently located on the back of the power head for easy access. Make sure you use a funnel to avoid spilling the oil and fill the crankcase with the correct amount and the specified grade of OEM oil. Finally, reinstall the cap, run the motor, and recheck that the oil is at the correct level on the dipstick. Next, lube the swivel bracket with Mercury 2-4C grease, pumping slowly until grease appears at the seal. Then repeat for any other lube points, then finish off with the steering. To drain the gear oil, first remove the drain plug, then the level and vent plugs, and allow the oil to drain, checking it for water intrusion and the magnetic plug for metal traces, since either one could be signs of problems. If everything looks good, install new gaskets on the plugs, then refill the gear case with OEM high-performance gear oil by pumping it into the fill hole on the torpedo until it begins to come out of the vent hole. Next, screw the plug in the vent opening and add more oil until oil exits the level hole. Screw in the level plug and remove the pump and install the fill plug. Off the top, I mentioned that some guys think the final step in winterizing their engine is to disconnect the fuel line and run the engine dry. Well, that's just not the case. Fuel systems, whether they're carbs or EFI, require fuel to ensure that the rubber, neoprene and plastic parts don't dry out, so they have to be stored wet. Now with an older carbureted engine, the way to store them was to, while they were running, introduce fogging oil through the carburetors till the engine quit. Well, with modern EFIs, doing it that way will ruin expensive injectors and sensors, so a special fuel mix must be pumped through the motor to store it for the winter. The mix is made up of 20 liters of gasoline, 1.8 liters of two-cycle oil, and 30 to 40 milliliters of fuel stabilizer with an ethanol additive. With the mix set to go, it's time to hook up the tank, fire up the motor, and wait till the mix is ingested, which is confirmed by oil smoke in the exhaust. Well, there you have it. Everything you need to know to winterize your four-stroke EFI outboard. Now, the last thing, though, to remember, store it vertical, whether it's on the boat or in your basement.